Agree? Yeah. Can you still act on that opportunity? Yeah. Right. Can you provide some kind of value? Can you make some improvement? Can you bring something to the table that helps improve it, helps it, it helps grow it? Correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, what's an example of, of entrepreneurship or entrepreneurial thinking that comes off the mind? Tracy, right? Brother Tracy. Give me another example. Steve Jobs. Absolutely. All examples of entrepreneur of, of entrepreneurship of, of entrepreneurs, the brother that spoke earlier. Right? Entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial thinking. So now with entrepreneurial thinking, we're talking about problem solving and solution providing. So when we start looking at our lives, what do we need in order to have entrepreneurial thinking? Or what is entrepreneurial thinking to really get it? Entrepreneurial thinking is utilizing your God-given talents, skills, and intelligence to identify, analyze, and survey a problem. Make sense? So anytime that you're faced with a problem, what do you have? Your intelligence, right? You have your talent, right? You have your intelligence, correct? Yes. Every time that you're faced with a problem, so if you have a problem and you're not able to solve it, did you fully utilize your intelligence? No. Did you fully utilize your talents? No. Did you fully utilize your skills? No. So there's no problem that we can't solve. Would you agree? It all depends on whether or not we utilize what? Our God-given talents, skills, and intelligence, right? Okay, so now we've identified the problem, right? We're utilizing our, our God-given talent, skills, and intelligence to attack that problem, right? Well, why would I be even attacking a problem? <coughs> why, would I, why would I attack a problem? Why would I even care about a problem? Because I want to improve it, right? There's something that you wanted to do. You saw an issue and you wanted to improve it. Would you agree that it's good to let things just be, or would it be good to improve it? If you see something broken, do you want to improve it, or do you want to leave it as it is? Why would you want to improve it? To make it better. To make it better, right? Because you realize that if I make it better, then it makes the world around me better, right? So, what's one of the biggest problems that you can ever work on? Somebody said life. Absolutely, your own self. You work on yourself. You work on yourself. That's the most difficult problem, or not even problem, but opportunity for growth is yourself. If you grow yourself, you improve yourself. You can improve everyone around you. Would you agree? Right? Because we're always told how impossible a problem is. Would you agree? How difficult, how challenging a problem is. But if the most challenging problem or most challenging opportunity that you face is yourself, and you do that, then you know everything else around you is possible. Agree? So why, why, why do I, I improve myself? Because I realize that once I improve myself, I can grow, I can be stronger, I can help more, I can, I can do more. So after I've done more, now what am I going to do? Do more. Do more. I'm going to give. I got all this, I got all this stuff. What good does it do me if I hoard it all and I don't give it? Will I ever be able to have more? No. My hands are only so big, right? <laughs> so now that I've gotten all this, I have to give it. If I don't give it, what I'm saying is, is that all my God-given talent, skills, and intelligence are only for myself. Would you agree that, that God only gave you your, your talents, your skills, and intelligence only for yourself? No, no. no. So why don't we give it to others? Why don't we give it to others? Because we don't believe in ourselves. We don't see the value that we have in ourselves. Go ahead. I was saying, so basically what you're saying is, if we give, there's more that's coming back in return. Absolutely. Give this young man a hand. <laughs> he, said, he said that the reason why he even gives it to us is so that we can give it. And by virtue of us giving it, we have to be given more. Right? We have to be given more. Because your only your intelligence, your skills, your money, your time, it isn't all, it doesn't all belong to you. It belongs to someone else. You you have something, something of value, and you only give it to yourself. How will it ever be able to grow? Because you never gave it to anybody else. Does anybody know how all, any of these plants got here? Somebody planted something, right? Now did they expect for that little seed to stay a little seed for forever? No. No, right? 
They expected it to grow. So if I put something in the ground, if I put something into the earth, I put it in the earth, I put it in the ground with the expectation to what? Grow. So now you as an individual, you are that seed, but you don't do anything that requires for you to grow. So what happens to you? Absolutely. Do you want to win it? Do you want to stay the same? No, you want to change, you want to grow. So now when we start talking about entrepreneurial thinking, entrepreneurial thinking isn't this, this a lost idea out there. Entrepreneurial thinking is what we do on a daily basis and we don't even realize it. <laughs> so, what do I need in order to develop my entrepreneurial mindset? Anybody have an idea? Go ahead. Anybody? Okay, information. Go ahead. Feelings and improving. What else? Self-awareness. Self-awareness or what we call knowledge of self. All those are great answers. All those are great answers. And it ties into what I would like to call a well-defined why. Have you ever done something and tried to figure out, look, somebody asked you, well, why'd you do that? And after somebody asks you why you did that, you feel kind of stupid because it's like, oh, I didn't really, I didn't really think that out, right? The same reason for why we do things also applies to why we don't do things. Does that make sense? So why did you decide to wake up early in the morning to be here? To not get yelled at. That's the reason. <laughs> why? Look, my mom's back there. <laughs> I showed up so I didn't get yelled at. But yes, um, why? Why did you come here this morning? To learn. To learn, right? So why do you want to learn? So why do you want to get better? So you can improve. So you see how I keep asking you these why questions. Well, oftentimes, we don't ask enough why questions for doing the things that we do. Right? We may have asked the why question twice and left it alone. But a well-defined why is that, that seed, that seed that will never die. Once you get to that core of what it is that you want to do, why you want to do it, there is nothing that can stop you. Nothing. Do you know how powerful that is? To plant a seed in the ground and it never dies. All you're just waiting is for the right condition for it to blossom and grow. That's what you gentlemen are. You gentlemen are the seeds. The seeds of our community, the seeds of our people, the seeds of our nation. When we start talking about having a well-defined why, there's a purpose. What is your purpose? Are you serious about that purpose? For me, my purpose is freedom. Liberation, to remove anything that prevents me from being free and prevents my people from being free. So, when we start talking about purpose, why am I investing? Because one of the ways that our people are enslaved is through finances and through economics. Why am I educated? Because one of the ways that we are enslaved is because we do not have self awareness, knowledge of self, or knowledge of the world around us. Right? If you don't know that that's the door, how many of you ever know to open it up? <laughs> 